Hey guys, Trip Boy here. Something a bit different today. That is my top 10 games of all time. So, something I've been thinking about doing for a while, at least writing down just for my own sake, and that's my top favourite games. There's loads that I absolutely love to pieces, but the top 10 is quite hard to make. And I think I've got my order cor order right. I'm not sure, but... So, in 10th place, we have Monkey Island. Well, the secret of Monkey Island, to be specific. The first one of the series. Absolutely hilarious game. Brilliantly made. One of, one of the games which started off the whole point-and-click adventure genre. And the main character, Guybrush, is just absolutely brilliant. And when they did the hasty remasters, that filled me with joy because I got to play it again, but modernised, which is nice sometimes with certain games. Um, but yes, that's number 10. Coming in at number 9, we have Broken Sword 1, which is the Shadow of the Templars, which is another point-and-click adventure game. And it's got a bit of humour in it. It's more of a serious one. And it's set around the Knights Templar. Absolutely amazing story. I've actually done a playthrough for it on the channel. Bef this, that was done before I had audio commentary and face cam. So it is literally just a playthrough. So if you like that sort of thing, just watching the game from start to finish without someone talking bollocks over the top of it, it's there for you to watch. Um, in at number... What is that? Nine. Eight. We have the... Halo Trilogy. I know that's kind of cheating, three in one slot, but it's, it is a trilogy, they are all linked, and damn what a story. Halo Trilogy, I think my favourite one would be Halo 3, no, Halo 1, just for the introduction to the Chief and what he does based and goes through. But, yeah, number seven, we have, what was it, Final Fantasy VIII the first Final Fantasy I ever played and it was just amazing the graphics were incredible for its time on the PlayStation the story was gripping the characters were really well what's the word um, written and it was just an all round amazing game unfortunately because of the fact that it was my first ever Japanese RPG I kind of ballsed up and got to a point where I couldn't actually get any further because my characters were so low leveled and ended up having to delete my save to start again which I'm still yet to do which I will be getting back to at some point but um, yes that was number 7 number 6 we have Metal Gear Solid absolute groundbreaking game on the Playstation 1 it had stealth, it had action it had everything that you could want from an action game the cinematics were brilliant the story was really good. The boss fights were war. What did they wear? I don't know. Well, they were really enjoyable, especially Psycho Mantis, where you had to use a second controller to actually beat him. But yeah, really well made game. I do have the Mercury Sword Legacy Collection. I've played the first two now. I'm about to start three soon. I was hoping I'd be able to do some Metal Gear Solid for the channel, but I don't have a capture card at the moment, so. That might have to be put off for a future date. But yes, that was that one. So we've had one, two, three, four, five. So we're down to number five, I believe. Five? Yes. Burn out three takedown. What a game. Turbo dismount reminds me of Crash Junction mode, which is why I love playing that one. And Burnout Paradise is got the road rage the, the, that was my favourite event road rage you basically no it changed I suppose because in road rage on the burnout 3 it was red team and blue team blue races red chases or something along those lines I can't remember which way around it was but yeah you basically had to get to the finish the other team had to take you out that was a lot of fun but also the Road Rage on Burnout Paradise is fun where you have to basically take out as many people as possible. But yeah, so number five is Burnout 3 Takedown because it was my favourite racing game. Sorry, my favourite real world racing game. The reason I say that is because of number four. Wipeout 3 Special Edition. 
that game is just so exhilarating and so much fun. I've actually managed to get my copy burnt off onto my computer. Speaking of which... This copy is only available in Europe. Wipeout 3 Special Edition. Now the reason why is it had tracks from Wipeout, Wipeout 2097, Wipeout 3 Japanese version and special prototype tracks as well. It has five game modes, new features and game enhancements and, I don't know if you can see that, uh, do that there, remixed. So we have a different soundtrack as well. That game I spent a lot of time playing with one of my friends. We used to play it all the time to the point where we were constantly pushing each other's skill level at the game higher. I was always better in my eyes, but he doesn't need to know that. Um, yeah, really fast-paced game, really fun, futuristic weapons, awesome. And we're down to the final three. So in third place we have Mortal Kombat 9. Return to form for Mortal Kombat. Absolutely awesome. Love all the characters, love the finishing moves, love the special moves. It's just such an awesome fighting game. Definitely my favourite of this fighting game around. Second is a tough one, and that would probably be Tekken or Soul Calibur. But yeah, Mortal Kombat. Awesome. Looking forward to the Mortal Kombat 10 next year. And. Yeah, I've, I'm not brilliant at Mortal Kombat, but it's just one of those games where you just it's enjoyable. But yes, that was number three. Number two, we have Skyrim. The well, be, to be specific, Skyrim PC. The reason why I say that is because as mu I have no issues with the console versions. They all get my thumbs up. There we go. The reason I say PC over consoles is for one thing, mods. I have modded my Skyrim ridiculously. It is, oh, I wouldn't say ridiculously, it's got a lot of mods though, it's got graphical overhauls, it's got increased flora, so there's more plants everywhere, the, the signs on the road and above shops and stores all glow at night with a magical illuminescence where it looks like they're enchanted. Um, I've got raptor feet installed for the Argonians, I've got enhanced blood splatters effects, I've got better bows, of player houses or additional ones that you don't have to buy that are just located around the map. All sorts you can do with the game for mods, there's so many different mods you can get for it. If you have it on PC it is worth checking out, because some of them make it a bit more realistic in terms of look. So the countryside's more. What's the word? But it has more flora and fauna, basically. Um, you can also get additional quests from people that have made them, um, character models, special weapons, all sorts of stuff. You can basically get almost anything for Skyrim. Different, like, lands, texture packs, models, better looking faces, all sorts of stuff you can get for it. So. As I said, if you do have it on PC, check out Nexus, that's N-E-X-U-S, that's where they deal with a lot of the mods and patches which are available. Um, but yes, that is my number two. Number one, if I remember correctly, it should be here somewhere, yes it is, there we go. Right, number one would have to be... Well, to be specific, Quake 2. That game made me a gamer. I haven't played much before this. I played Mega Drive and Spectrum, that show my age a bit. And yeah, video games were they're a bit of fun. Quake 2 changed all that. This game made me realise how incredible video games could be. The story for Quake 2, the action 
just everything about it absolutely awesome so yeah if you haven't played it I highly recommend this box set the ultimate quake oh that was quake 1 quake 2 and quake 3 arena all in one package but yes quake 2 my favorite all-time game I just I love it and I will be doing a playthrough of it at some point in the near future because it's quake 2 everyone should know quake 2 but yes that's my top 10 thank you for watching I hope you've enjoyed that if you want to leave your top 10s in the comments below so we could have maybe discussions on which ones maybe I could change around because I'm not 100% on it I could put some of those games higher or lower Quake 2 stays where it is but yeah thank you for watching I shall see you guys in the next video bye bye